Hey guys, I'm back. I hope this audio is working for you guys. I'm not enjoying having a mask on and recording things in school like this. I think I'll do the rest from home. Okay, so I mentioned this in the past that we're going with stylized approach here. I'm just going to go to Pinterest for a second. Hopefully nothing crazy comes up. I'll just move it over here just in case. Come on, Pinterest, don't let me down here. Okay, I'm just going to bring some stuff eventually here to you guys. Okay, I think what I'll do this, this session is I'll make more trees, I'll duplicate things, and I'll stylize things and so forth, okay? And remember, again, the theme is low poly. You get to make your own postcard scene uh, depending on uh, what your theme is going to be, okay? So let's see, do I have something for the grade nines? One more sec, hang in here with me. I'll just pause for a sec. Okay, I think I have it here. All right, let's bring it here. Hope we're going. Okay, so this, this is what I mean <laughs> by saying low poly. Okay, look how cool this stuff is, guys. Look, you don't need to know a lot about 3D modeling to make things really amazing, especially within the genre of low poly. Okay, see here my Pinterest account, grade nine, grade nine and grade 10 low poly, right? So for example, I'm just going to look at this image here. Okay, so I look at things and I don't normally... Um, I don't know if this works or not. Let's just leave it. I, I don't I don't want you to look at final results in the sense of how well the lighting is, how well the shading is. I just want you to think about shapes. So if I look at this right now, I see cubes scaled. That's it. Everything here is cubed. Done. Next. Look at this now. It's very much in the world of Minecraft. Okay, that's a video. Thanks. We'll step out here. Don't need that one. Okay, come on, Valiant. Give me better ones here, will you? Oh, yeah, so I have to go back to my page. Okay, so here, all right, let's look at some other ones. I just think this is so gorgeous right here. Look at this. Look how beautiful that is, right? Somebody just put a smooth on uh, on boxes, and that's it. And don't worry about the, the vertical um, uh, textures and so forth, okay? So there's another example. I'm going to go a little faster now. Uh, let's go here. These are icospheres in... Uh, in blender basically you're just you're just look how easy that is right so the importance is research concept sketch and then hit blender you don't start in blender never you never start in any of our tech courses in the software without researching and having a direction to go right okay let's hit this one now this is this is this one is fantastic because the shot is framed within a scene, okay? So if I look at this, it's a bunch of cylinders. Um, here, let's go to Behance for a second. You have a bunch of links that your teacher will show you. Okay, so look at this. How beautiful is that, right? Okay, I haven't, this is like somebody's blocking in architecture, urban planning, but look how simple that is. Look how beautiful, okay? So this is our approach. Our approach is using simple primitives, which are, which are spheres, cubes, uh, cones, um, and so forth, and then you guys stylizing it a certain way, right? And here's the shot, look at that, see? A bunch of benches here, they're all just boxes. That's all this, look. That's what we're going after, all right? So why don't I make one of these trees right now? There's a simple way, more, more complicated way. Uh, I'm gonna show you box modeling and how to make this, I don't know, I'm, I'm afraid to link these and then see what's gonna come up here for a second. Hang in there, is it coming? Yes, I got a picture. Okay, here. All right, see? This to me is a box that's extruded. That means there's a face you bring out like clay, and then you extrude again like clay, and then you get to do this. So we'll do something like this really quickly. All right, let's go. All right, we're here. Again, shift, middle scroll, and you get this good business, right? All right, all right. So I didn't show you how to group things, not yet. So I'm going to select A, which is top hat here. I've got this shift, select, shift, left click. I have all three like that, right? And this is kind of cool. Okay, so there they are. And I'm going to say grab, and then let's move on the X for red. There, gone. Okay. So uh, let's start with a cube again. So you can always go, you can also do shift right click. Okay, I know that's a little, oh, come on, really? Uh, what did I do? Oh, it's shift A. I, there's so many cool things in this app. So shift A, or you just go add <laughs> match cube. Let's just do that. All right. All right. All right. Oh, yeah, here's the fun stuff. Okay, nice. As I said to you guys, we'll go into this little orange square, and this is our size, one meter by one meter. So I can just come in here and say 0 0.5, tab 0.5, tab 0.5. Isn't that nice? Yeah. And you guys know, okay, and uh, you guys know that 
right now, if I if I press move, the actual box is going to move, right? There, there's my cube right here. See, I can even put it at zero, 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 tab zero, tab zero, right there. Sweet, okay. I can take a cube and do this, or I can take a cylinder to make a tree trunk. Let's try this method first, okay? All right, let's go. So remember, you're in layout. We're gonna go to modeling, okay? Look at that, everything changed, oh yeah. So now I'm just gonna go and say to you guys, I'm in this mode here, shaded mode, just, okay, and I'm gonna go into a face, see, boom. Now E for extrude, this is so cool. Look, can you just move your mouse, okay? And if I just click out for a second and spin around, so I'm gonna say, you know what, my tree trunk, it's selected, press the move. I could go a little like that. I can press S for scale, look at that, see, now. Okay, this app is really cool. Whenever you extrude, it, it has its own constraint, I believe. I could be wrong. I could be lying to you. Who knows? So I'm going to press E again, and look, it goes out, and then I'm just going to hit S, and I'm going to scale it down, something like that. Okay, so there's that. Okay, if I want to rotate, I'll just go to rotate here, and I can say, you know what, I'm going to go this way. Isn't that cool? That is cool. Okay, nice. Now, watch this. I'm going to say grab, and I'm going to do something different, Z. I'm just going to bring this down. Look at that. See? Nice, right? And I'm going to press move, and I'm going to go slide, slide, okay? And I'll just extrude again. I'm just having fun, guys. Look, here, like that, and then press S for scale, and then just bring it in, okay? This is the base of the trunk of the tree. Watch what I'm going to do here. I'm in face mode, right? Click, press E. Oh, yeah. Press S for scale, and then let's just, this is like, Anybody who's starting a new app, these are the fundamentals. Doesn't matter which software you in, you need to figure out how to do this, okay? So we just keep the lines constrained and there. There we go, like that, something like that, see? So at this point I have that. So I have a division, okay? And then I'm gonna press E again, out, and then I'll press S, and then, and then just keep things proportionally here, like that. Like, you gotta, you gotta have fun with this and just see, okay, done. Okay, cool. And I'm gonna do another one over here. I'm gonna to go to this face, select it, E for extrude, and then we go out, and then we press S if you want, bring it in, and then I'm gonna hold middle scroll button down. So I'm gonna look here, okay? Zoom in, zoom out, hold shift and pan. I can make this one go that way. Look at that, eh? We don't want perfect things, right? Okay, so look. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little bump in here. So I'm just gonna go into vertex, just highlight all of them. Nice, they're all selected. I'm in my X-ray mood. So here, look at that, look at this. See, so there's no perfect. This, this, this is what makes trees so interesting because every division is another angle. It doesn't just go straight line and that's it, right? So I'll go back to faces. Look how nice that is, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna say, you know what, I'm gonna teach you guys something new here. Because we're in modeling, look at all the goodies down here, eh? This is our insert edge loop, which in Maya, and uh, here it's called loop cut. Watch this, I'm gonna click, and then I can move my mouse up and down. Left click, move your mouse. Uh, <laughs> is that nice? Sweet, so I have a division there. I'm gonna put another division there and get out, go back out. Okay, so why did I do that? Because now I have additional edges. For example, I'll go into edge mode, which is number two, one, two, three, one, two. So if I click here, Oh wow, there's some really cool hotkeys in this app. So let's see. I'm just gonna press shift right now, shift left click, shift left click, all four are selected, okay? Oops. Okay, so I think if I hold option, it goes to uh, orthographic views. Don't worry about it. Let's go shift here. Okay, so watch, if I press scale now, look what happens. See, I can do stuff like that. Isn't that interesting? If I come here, shift select again, one, two, three, four. I can scale out again, S. Just keep your line, this little uh, spidey web, just keep it like that. Just keep it proportional, okay? So that's all I did. So I'm just making it irregular. Now I'm gonna look at it in kind of orthographic view, okay? So that's probably the top. Let's go this way. Okay, cool. All right, so watch. I'm gonna get out of modeling. I'm gonna go into layout. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go to that view again. Uh, was it X? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Okay, so look. I'm looking at this right now. I'm just gonna slide it over, okay? 
So again, shift, middle scroll, and I pan. Okay, I'm looking at this right now, and I'm saying, you know what, Alexi, Mr. Bellion, it's too wide at the base. Okay, cool. Now we go into modeling. We'll go into vertex, and I don't know why this thing just keeps changing views when I do things. Okay, so watch. I'm in that mode here. Let's go into X-ray, make sure everything is selected, right? So look, I can take... I can create a marquee. Marquee basically means you left click and you make a box. This is a Photoshop term that's been brought over to everywhere. So look at that. Now I can make it thinner. I can go over here, a bounding box. Yeah, some people will do this in perspective. I don't care. I don't mind. It does not matter. I want you to play around. Don't do things exactly like I did it. Make things irregular. Have fun. Tech is one of the few courses in your life where you're allowed to make as many mistakes as you want because you will realize when you get into the real world, believe me when I tell you this, a lot of us will discover some really cool things accidentally, including, you know, I'm not going to go into medical uh, discoveries and so forth, but a lot of things are discovered accidentally. And in the real world, um, sometimes you don't have time to make mistakes. You have to deliver a product. You don't have a lot of time, but here in the course, because we teach everything project-based, there's time to explore, experiment. You know what I mean? So look, already this is looking kind of nice for me. I don't know. In profile, in silhouette. Oh, yeah. See, I can even come in here, move that over, and so forth. Okay? So look, I can even take all of this and go weep like this. Bring it down, down. See, I'm just marking, and I have my move tool selected, so I could do a lot of cool stuff. I can come in here and say, you know what? Yeah, this is actually pretty cool. I can bring it down like this. So this is cool, right? There, I'm done. If I want to add another one, watch. I'll go in here, cut again. Watch, I'm going to do another uh, a branch out. Look, see how this is? It's really cool. It's, uh, it's perpendicular. So whatever edge you have, you, you highlight over it, and it gives you a perpendicular cut. So there cut. I'm going to put another one here because it looks cool. And then I'm going to just go back to my move tool and I'll be out of the tool, I think. There you go. Okay. So I uh, see like right here, right now, I press move. I was about to say W like in Maya. That's not the case. It's actually grab. It's G. But look, see how you things are not perfect, right? Look how nice that looks. Okay. So I'm going to extrude something from here just for fun. Let's, let's bring another cut. I guess so distracted, guys, because I'm doing this in real time and I'm not I don't want it to be perfect. I want you to make mistakes like me, and we'll solve them together, okay? So look, shift, middle scroll, come on, uh, just middle scroll, and I'm gonna come out on this side here, look. Uh, holding shift, I wanna take this face and extrude out from there, okay? So we'll go to face right here. It's one, two, and three, or you just highlight there. So look, right here, boom. And press E, that's that easy, look at that, right? I'm middle scrolling, I'm gonna press S, and we bring it in. That's it, that's all we need. We're good to go, right? Okay, so a lot better already, and eventually when you get more comfortable, we'll do more cuts in here and so forth. But this is low polygonal, we're good to go. Okay, so let's go to layout. Uh, let's see what, uh, where's my Z here? I don't know, let's see why. Different view, okay, not bad. I have the whole thing. Well, there's my tree, okay. So, uh, <laughs> I'm going to press Y again here, and I'm going to hold Shift and middle scroll. There's padding, right? Okay, so look, looking at it in this view, so basically it's another view. Like you have a front view, side view, back view, top view, bottom view, all that stuff, right? I'm looking at this right now, and I'm saying, hey, Valiant, it's too wide again. Uh, oh, my God, 13 minutes. We've got a rock here. Okay, so I'm here. I'm going to go to modeling mode, and I will get the verts. Oh, man. Why does this software do that? When I change to modeling, it just goes somewhere else, then um, I'll sort it out at some point. Okay, so we're gonna go in here. We're gonna zoom over here. I'm looking at this and I'm saying, again, it's too wide, right? So I can come in here with my vertices option, select all these guys and uh, move here, which is grab, and then go across. Okay, I can do silly stuff like that. So you have to take your time and kind of work on your views. Don't worry about it. You're not going to lose marks. You just got to take the time, guys, okay? Okay, fine. We're done here. I got to now get into uh, layout, and let's let's go into my perspective view. And if I just uh, middle scroll there, that's nice, right? So all I'm going to do is bring some spheres in, okay? Icosphere, whatever. So if we go to add right now and go to mesh, we have a circle. Nope, that's 2D. Icosphere, let's do this. Okay, there it is, right? Look at that. Look how nice that is. 
subdivisions, two meters. Okay, I don't know. All right, so here we are. So again, if I want this at the center, look, I'm not going to come in here and do this the hard way. Look, one, two, like this. All I got to do is go into location, hit zero, tab, zero, tab. So it's in the center. And now this one, I'll zero it up because it's my starting circle here is in the wrong place. So uh, anyway, I'm just going to select, get out. I'll, I'll deal with that in another lesson. So basically, here's my icosphere. I'm just going to go zero, tab, zero, tab, zero. See? And done. Okay, cool. All right. So holding shift, middle scroll. And look, I'm just going to bring this up, right? And then I just zoom in a bit, go across here, uh, rotate, and then just bring it over here. Look. And you guys know that at this point, you know, you can spin around, look at it, and say, yeah, that's not bad, dude. Not bad at all. So now I'm just going to uh, duplicate shift D. I was going to say command D, like Maya. And then let's say Y, let's go in Y. Okay, cool. And I'm going to press S and I'm just going to make it smaller. See, that's it. Now I'm going to come in here again, duplicate, shift D. This is all you need, guys. Okay, without, and I'm free, free falling right now, okay? So I'm basically making it on my own and I'm going to go scale. And this time maybe I'll make it bigger. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, there. I've got my tree, baby. I've got my tree. Okay, so now one, shift, shift two. Uh, shift left click basically. I got three things happening, right? What if I go in here and look down here? What do I got? Look at this. Interesting, right? I'm doing all this intuitively. So right now, if I go to green, really? I can't do all three at the same time? Come on. Okay, just go one, green, yes. Three, green. I should also name these eventually, okay? And now we'll go here for the trunk of the tree. And again, really, I can make another version of this and then and then like, look, everything's the same now. If I change here, they're all gonna change, look. See, they all become darker, ooh, scary stuff. Okay, so let's go for the trunk and I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna click on new. Uh, oh, I do have one already, wait a minute. Come down here and, no, that's top hot. Okay, I'll double click and then I'll just go tree, trunk. Okay, and we'll go in some kind of a brown here, and we know it's orange, and then you just make orange colors darker. It goes into the brown zone, see? And come over here, come down, something like that. Okay, cool. There it is. I got that. Okay, so that was hard, wasn't it, folks? So don't think of the overall assignment. Have fun. Think of it as a puzzle. Make all the elements separately. And, oh, I didn't mention this. Guys, we got to save every 10 minutes. I apologize. I haven't even done it. Okay, so let's go. File, save as. And this should be in my documents. Okay, and I'm going to go Blender, 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 somewhere here. I'll go Blender stuff. And then I'll go in there and I call this demo one. Okay, so I'll just get rid of everything. Demo underscore 01. Hopefully that works. Save us. Okay, so there it is. I saved it. And look, in a few minutes, this is all I did. Look, see? Woo, it's the bell. Okay, got to go. Bellion out. See you, everybody. This was number three.